and Tooltip Tuesday, we're talking bunkers today. More importantly, if you're heading too far behind the ball and you can't get it out, or you get that ball that shoots way across the green. So what I'm talking about is this shot. As you can see, my entry point too far behind. Ball doesn't do what you want it to do. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers on how to do this. A little bonus thing at the end of the video on another tip on how to address this issue. Now, if you like the video, hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, notification bell. You'll get a video every Tuesday. So we're talking about the bunker. Now, you see the people draw a line in the sand. You say, okay, you've got to hit just in front of the line. Great bit of advice, but what happens when you don't do it? What do you need to do? So I'm going to talk this through for you. So the big key is here. What's happening if you're hitting the ground behind the ball, your wrists are unhinging too early and you're hitting the sand here. That's one thing. Second thing could be your head is too far back and that's why you're hitting the sand there. So general rule, if you do draw a line in the sand, you've got to feel as though your chin is in line with the ball. So you're going to feel as though you're leaning into your front side a little bit more. Second thing we can do is feel as though we hold the angle a little bit longer with the, with the left forearm and the club or your right wrist and the club. So the entry point comes down to here. You've got to hit down on it for the ball to go up. Don't try and scoop it up. Too many people try and scoop that up. Think about the bunkers, the sand throws the ball out. Don't even have to hit the ball, how good's that? So you've got to hit the sand in the right spot. So as I said before, you've got the line here. People go, okay, I've got the line, but I do not hit the sand in the right spot. So we need to feel as though we hold the angle a little bit longer and we practice there. So general rule is if you're way behind it here, draw a line in front of it, have a practice swing, try and hit the front line. See how much more my upper body moves across and you hit the front line. So that's one way of doing it. Now, a little bonus tip for you. Put a ball about one shoe length behind. Because if you then go back and hit this, you'll try and hit this ball. So we're going to avoid hitting that ball. So we're going to feel as though the club comes down. It's going to be a little bit steeper hitting on the back of the ball this way. Out it goes. So... There's a little tip for you on fixing the bunker. Now, if you've got any questions, send me a message.